Hey everyone, uh, if you're watching this, uh, you're definitely interested uh, in the speech that I've written up. Um, it's more of a thankful and a care little letter that I wrote up for all the hospitality these people are giving to our sick and the virus that's going worldwide. So I'm just gonna, gonna read you a little bit of something that I wrote up today and uh, thank you for watching again. Uh, first, I wanna give a huge shout out to all our medical facilities, medical assistances, nurses, doctors, our servicemen, volunteers, and anyone else that is helping to protect others from being infected or have already been infected with this horrific virus running at a rapid pace worldwide. My heart goes out to all the families and people who have lost loved ones due to this sickening virus. It is a very sad time for all of us, especially when we can't even attend funerals or say our last goodbyes before someone goes. I could just imagine how it must feel and my thoughts and prayers are with all of you, all of you. On a positive note, it is just amazing to see not just areas and the people we know, but the entire world coming together to try and help each other out through these unspeakable times. Instead of reading about people hurting each other through the media, we're finally seeing a little more positivity in this, things than negative coming from them. It is just very sad that it has to come to this for everyone to pull together, but hopefully this is a lesson to all that humanity is super valuable and real and that we should care and love each other as if it was our last day on earth. And not just because something like this hit us from behind, but because we truly love life and the people in it. I have always been a man with a huge heart and a helping hand to others way before I even owned my own business, because I try to see the good in everybody, even if they have a bad past, because trust me, my past was not the worst, but it definitely was far from perfect. But it did define me into the man that I become today. Never forget where you come from, but learn from that and grow into the future by making better choices. It's never too late. Most of the time, if those people see the good in some, somebody else, that can help them make better positive choices moving forward in their lives, and in some cases, their lives could be saved. So please, everybody, even after the virus is gone, still maintain the love and that you're seeing and giving now for the rest of your lives, for it could change the world into an even better, positive place than ever before. This world has a lot to offer, and I personally feel that planet Earth needs the same care and love that we are now giving each other to keep it healthy and strong for all living things on this planet. That being said, I just want to say that I am so honored to have donated 95% of my medical supplies in my warehouse to over 15 different medical facilities, hospitals, convalescent homes, soldier homes, assistant living, and more. I can't even express how, how thankful I am to be able to even have those supplies on demand for these people. I really want to give a special shout out to Justin Badeau. He's an amazing artist from Massachusetts who raised enough money to purchase 20,000 pairs of gloves, 1,000 N95 masks for all medical personnel in his area and others. This is absolutely amazing, and I'm honored to be a part of it and helped him with some of those supplies and just being his friend. It's great to see people do some amazing things like this. It's awesome to come together. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed the speech. Everybody stay safe, clean, healthy. Spend this time with your families. Use the social distances for now until at least everything goes back to normal and we can all enjoy life together. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the speech. Bye-bye.